Some call her a sexpert. Uh, not that she's been around the uh, track too many times, but enough to know what's what, what goes where, if you will. And Allie joins us <laughs> We're now. We're back to the good intros. <laughs> <laughs> Allie joins us on the big screen. Allie, by the way, is also on OnlyFans. You'll find her at A-L-L-I-B, Alib. And uh, <laughs> you can also reach her if you want to find out what's happening and send us a question. It's A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N in the world of social media. Allie, let's get right to it. You got a question for us? Dear Allie, last week you had a guy complain about the odor of his woman, woman when he's going downstairs. Well, I have the opposite problem that ever since we got a bidet, it feels like she has to sanitize herself before any action. So to me, she smells and tastes like tap water. <laughs> For me, I like the gamier, the better. Oh, oh. Whoa. I think we need to switch. Even right after partners. a sweaty workout, but she thinks that's gross. Good for you, sir. No. She loves her bidet, so how do I get back to the good old days of natural smells and tastes? Oh, God. Now, now, just to put this into context, we had the... Uh, the uh, oh, story about Napoleon, Napoleon and, and the, Josephine. The famous yeah. letters to Josephine. Oh. He liked her funky, if you oh, will. Oh, yeah. Famous, famously. Wow. Uh, Ooh, and those letters are preserved in history. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. So this, this guy likes it a little bit gamey in general. So I guess A lot gamey, it looks like. Yeah, we'll just, uh, maybe grab her when she's done with her workout and... I mean, if you tell her how much you love it, maybe she'll feel secure in it. Because I always want to take a shower before you go any, you know, do anything real. Get yes, in there, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah, but that thong, like when you take it off after working out, it's like stuck to you. Oh, right. It's but, part okay. of you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> disgusting. Let her, let her go. I like this. Let's, let's yeah. see what she has. And it's just like wet. It's completely wet. It's gross. Okay. Mm. If you're working out, right. Mm. If that's what you like, <laughs> take her camping, you know? Oh, yeah, good idea. Why don't you switch these guys' letters? Send the other guy, this guy, and maybe they'll swap partners and everybody will be happy. <laughs> hmm. Josh, you seem to be very quiet on this topic. Oh, no, yeah, no, the answer is to tell her that you like it Yeah. Uh, unwashed. Why don't you just go build a home at the county dump and <laughs> live there if you like nasty smells Aww. so much. Or you just date homeless people. Sick freak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so bury your face in a homeless person. This sounds dumb. Would it make a difference if she had a well water at her house? If it was well water going in the bidet, so it smells a little different. Oh, like doesn't sulfur? It? Yeah. I don't know what this guy needs. Uh, or maybe he could bury his face in her workout clothes while uh, she showers and just give himself a little bit of his Oh, yeah. yeah. Just kind of huff those. <laughs> I do, right. I do have kind of a, if there's a... Uh, how can a I hint? There? If there's a uh, actual connection or something, uh, I don't think people, a couple is in a relationship, they notice that right. it smells as bad to the other person. Exactly. You're right. I think exactly. it does. Yeah. It's right. like your, uh, how do you pronounce this word? Farts. They don't smell that <laughs> bad to you. Right. Right? But they smell horrible to other people. It's the same principle. Only it's another person. Right. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Okay. Well, yeah. I think it's we've like answered I, I wouldn't think you smelled bad, Tom, ever. Aww. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> if, you'd like, if you'd like to huff my underwear after I today's show, <laughs> don't <laughs> do that. Do not oh. tease me. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I will say that the, Jess is onto something with this because the we were talking about selling underwear on the last show, mm -hmm. and people had wrote to me that there should be tears where it's like, oh, I worked out in these. Oh, I had these on for 48 hours. I got drunk and peed a little in these. Oh, oh, tears. Liked. I thought you meant yeah. that they wanted you to wipe your tears with your underwear after you were done crying. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just added another tear. So I got drunk and peed a little. Oh, I want your sad yeah. panties. Uh, <laughs> watch Ordinary People and send these to me, please. Oh. But so that's, that, that should be a chapter of your book, uh, Josh. Uh, huffing sad panties. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, are you going to sell any on uh, your OnlyFans page, Allie? Oh yeah, I'm totally up for it. The problem is, I keep forgetting and just throwing everything in the laundry, so people have to wait longer than a. Is is there a price than, point? Than have you thought of a price point? I was doing a hundred bucks a pair. Yeah, I don't know what the normal that's fair. going rate is. That's fair. Okay. Wow. Yep. Yeah, so if anyone wants to have some panties, that's nice. the cost. Does, it, does, that, does that come with a photograph of you wearing them so they know that they're authentic? Oh, authentic. I think you uh, do have to Yeah, that, I mean, right? I, I definitely would do that. Like, Allie, sure. don't, don't forget socks. Socks? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say 40, okay. bu 40 bucks a pair for used socks. Oh, really? that's a good time. Oh, there are guys out there so that want to chew on those. No kidding. Yeah, of course. Dirty <laughs> are you sure they're chewing yeah. and not huffing? 
<laughs> Probably all the above, yeah. Using them as a sock <laughs> on their own uh, oh. members. No, Ellie, are you a, a Brazier? Oh. Ellie, are you a Brazier gal? Brah. I mean, of course, but mostly in the summer, not as much. You wear sundresses without bras, but yeah, otherwise, definitely. Do they get sweaty? Ew. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. By yes. They, Sports yes. bras, definitely. By, by they, I mean the Brazier's. <laughs> oh, th <laughs> not the knockers. <laughs> Your knockers get sweaty, trust yeah, me. Huffing uh, oh, yep, yeah, they no, definitely do. Chapter 7. That under, huffing under, knockers under sweat. Boob sweat. Uh, under boob sweat. Under boob sweat, Tom. That's where sweat. knockers sweat. You know what? Yeah. I'm not under a boob. weirdo. I was making fun of the last guy for like an underwear. I like the under boob sweat. Do you? It's nice for me. Okay. It's, it's like holy oh. water, you know? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> model that up. We're coming up with some ideas. Oh, okay, these are great. Uh, once again, you can uh, reach Allie uh, in the world of OnlyFans, A L L I B, and uh, see what's happening. Now, uh, uh, can we move on with another letter, please, Allie? Dear Allie, I have been dating a younger woman for a couple months, and she told me she is pregnant. I would rather lose my leg than have a kid now. I already have two adult kids. Would it be wrong to offer her incentives, like a lot of money, for her not to have it? <laughs> oh my God! What? What else? What other letter do you have? <laughs> <laughs> what, I, I, I have another. I have a follow-up. What other? What, what would he be? Us? What would he be willing to do for just losing an arm? I, I could cut his leg off. Next. Yeah, yeah. we're not going to go fix this I'm one. going to go there. Wow. <laughs> oh, dear Allie, my boyfriend of two years just broke up with me, and one of his friends asked me out. I'm still in love with my ex, and all I want to do is talk about him or go out with this guy to make my ex jealous and pump him for information. My ex doesn't use social media, so he's really impossible to stalk any other way. How bad of a, an idea would this be? Very. Well, yeah, don't bad. don't take that guy. No, you can't. Oh. You can't stalk him. That's upsetting. <laughs> It's a huh. tragedy. I mean, huh. this isn't healthy, but if hooking up with someone else makes you feel good while you're sad, then have at it. Yeah, but not as friends. Yeah. And and I I feel I fear that that uh, feeling good will be temp very temporary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, if, if, and this is also kind of unfair to his friend, which is weird. That yeah, he he, that exactly. Yeah, that friend may yeah. really like you, it, and it is weird that he asked you out, but. Yeah, you don't want to just oh hey how how's he doing how's how's everything with that guy? Yeah, yeah. no one wants to talk about another person on a date. You want to talk about yourself? Yeah. Also, I think that the idea that guys talk like that might be wrong. Like, do you guys talk about breakups as much where he'd have all the information? Because girls do, so I think we think guys do too. I don't know. Oh, if guys guys like that, that much. much every now and then. Yeah, yeah. sure, sure, but it's oh. I can solve this one. Move Let's to a, move to a different city and go gay. Next. Oh, there you go. Well, I get the feeling good. you're not taking this serious. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor talks about this in that documentary that I just watched because she married Eddie Fisher basically so she could talk about Michael Todd because they were best friends the whole time. That's really one of the reasons she married him. She says that on the tape. Weird. That's all they talked wow. about was him. How weird is that? That's I mean, that's creepy. Went into it knowing. I mean, yeah, he broke they up were his relationship. Well, he was married to someone else. Eddie Fisher Reynolds. got to bang Debbie Reynolds and, and Elizabeth yes, Taylor. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. He was apparently. I mean, he had an IQ of twenty-seven. Man, you know, he was apparently a great guy. <laughs> sure, sure. But Everything you read about him, he everybody he was a person. He everybody loved that. But guy. yeah, what a blessed Stupid bedroom. Stupid is the day is long. It wasn't good PR that. for him to leave Debbie <laughs> it Reynolds. It worked for him. Oh, that didn't work out. Well. <laughs> no, it didn't. He fought that for a long time. Doesn't but, Carrie yeah, but, Fisher, uh, hasn't she always said that uh, uh, her dad uh, consoled Elizabeth Taylor with his penis? Yes, and that is exactly <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what right. happened. And that's, they her say interviews they, are so funny. They bring She's it so right funny. up in the documentary. By the they way, pretty much do that. And this is incredibly obscure, and I apologize. There's a very funny part of the uh, Michael McDonald from the Doobie Brothers, his biography. There's a hilarious scene with Elizabeth Taylor, completely unexpected, really? out of nowhere. I won't say what it is, but it's very funny. Uh, you would never expect it to be in there. Okay, I'm sorry. All let's right, get to sorry. another letter. Yeah, it was Allie. a nice surprise. Fortunately, I read the book before you spoiled it for me. <laughs> did I didn't spoil it, did I? Yeah. Oh, sorry. You funny, don't know Elizabeth there. Taylor's in the book until, until now. Yeah, no, but that isn't the that's not the funny part. Okay. Allie, what else? Thank you, Josh. <laughs> Shut these guys Dear up. <laughs> Allie, I am dating a girl who's a vegan, and I live for food. Going out to eat is my favorite thing to do other than sex and sports. I love sharing a great dinner, and it's not the same when the other person thinks what you're eating is disgusting. Should I try to go vegan, or should I get out? She's a 10, so leaving would be pretty painful. 
<laughs> you don't you have to change. Yourself. Don't change. Be yourself. Dude. Yeah, but you also don't want to have dinners and have your I can't believe you're uh, eating meat. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. gross. It's a compromise. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, but what's the compromise? Maybe eat chicken nuggets. That way it's not as scary to her. You know what I mean? Versus Something that like doesn't look as meat like, like not a steak, but so some he has store. to. Well, you just eat like a kindergartner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough one. I break up with her. Who cares? There are a lot of tens out there. <laughs> oh, I think you really do. Josh is in a mood today. No, no, I'm not. I, I, Pat, you're a vegan. Is it hard to date? Because your girlfriend's not a vegan, right? No, it doesn't bother me at all. It may bother her the, the places we have to go to oh. to accommodate me. But do you I, pull I that? Care. Do you pull that card? Do you go well? I hope they killed that cow before you no. stuck. Yeah, you don't I don't, do any I don't of that care stuff? at all. No, not at all. Okay. It's all not right. like this show guy people videos her. of. You know, yeah. like he's always been eating meat. You don't have to change. That's rude. Mm. Break yeah. up. Yep. <laughs> isn't, Next. Isn't, isn't there, isn't, or tell her to just uh, quietly be vegan. Isn't there a whole, a vegan, isn't there a whole odor just, thing? What? If, 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 oh. Don't, if, if, can't vegans detect meat eaters or something by their body odor? Isn't that a thing? Are you serious? Oh. Yeah, because I think of so. the sodium that we eat. I feel like it might be a thing they say, but yeah, I don't know so. if that's true. Yeah, I don't think it's <laughs> oh, I smell, I smell carnivore. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't give you a superpower to, to be a vegan. Why can't you just not talk about it? Just be vegan. Because she's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just about her being a vegan. Right. There are plenty. Yeah. Uh, there are nice yes. vegans. Yeah. There are what so, that, uh, very nice. so many vegans who have a live and let live <laughs> attitude. This girl isn't one of them. Okay, uh, 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 Allie, it's time now for a little uh, audio uh, insertion here, uh, courtesy of Josh. I've got, got 99 problems, problems, but a bitch ain't one to Bitch. I'm bitch. You can rely on the old man's money. It's a bitch. Girl, but it's gone. Bitch. Bitch. The bitches. Bitch. Bitch. Okay, there we go. Let's move on to our next letter, Allie. By the way, on mine, I heard no songs. I just heard Josh saying the word bitch over and over. Oh. <laughs> That's weird. Wait, the audio. <laughs> okay, dear Allie, my wife said she was getting fat the other day, and of course I said she wasn't, but then I joked, well, just don't get bigger, any bigger than you are right now. Oh, <laughs> funny. Oh. Yeah. Oh. She has start? been mad and making this big show about how she's not eating dessert so she can stay perfect for me. Oh, no. <laughs> It was just a joke, I guess maybe mixed with a little bit of honesty, since she has actually gained a few pounds since when I met her. But how do I snap her out of this? You talk about how much you love her and how beautiful yes. she is. Just keep saying how beautiful she is. You love her no, no matter what. This is over. <laughs> that was a huge mistake, sir. I mean, the only way you are an idiot to get her to never remind you of that is to kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It will never be yeah. forgotten. You're, 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 in fact, that might not. Well, he's an idiot for thinking this. She'll way. even for haunt starters. you. Oh, <laughs> Remember yeah. when you called me that? Put it on your tombstone. Oh, oh boy. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Well, yeah, but who who says that to someone there in a relation? You know, I, you know, you know who, honestly, chick, you know who says that? A guy, a, fat. a guy who thinks she's hot, a guy who loves her. Mm -hmm. If he really yeah. was worried about it and didn't like it, he, he wouldn't say that. Is that right? I think so. I don't think so. You uh, wouldn't even care, would you? That's what I'm saying. He, he so doesn't care that he said it because it... It didn't occur to him that it would bother her. Uh, your logic yeah. is eating itself. Right. It's not true. That's not true. That's <laughs> not true at all. <laughs> I think, I think Josh, you're exactly right. I think that if he had an issue with it, he'd be doing little things like if a waiter came to the table being like, hey, any dessert tonight? He'd be like, oh, no, 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 no. Right. Well, no that, yeah, but, yeah. It's so not an issue no, to no. him, it didn't occur to him that it would be an issue to her. Guys are dumb that way. We're oh, real dumb. And women do not <laughs> want to talk about their weight. That's the number At one. All. No thing. matter how dumpy she is. No matter. <laughs> 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 Unless she uh, gets over three bills. And I think that, yeah, that, that goes without saying. <laughs> 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 yeah. She's 6'5 yeah. and three bills. You're still, you know. Damn. Yeah. How about what's her 40? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I understand Man. the Cowboys need it. Yeah. I don't know how to. I, I don't know how to cool that fire off. Oh, that's, uh, there. That's, okay. that's, they're yeah. going to they're gonna have to go to a new level of their relationship on both parts, I think, and I don't think that's possible. Who we're dealing over. with? Okay, Allie, we have time for one more letter. A L L I B R E E N to reach Allie Breen, and don't forget OnlyFans. A L L I B Alib. Okay, we, we, let's go, Allie. What do you got? Dear Allie, my wife hates my brother's wife and makes mean comments and jokes at family functions. She used to do it under her breath, but now it's gotten to the point where she does it so she can hear them. She thinks it's funny, and I've asked her to stop a million times because it's actually putting a strain on my relationship with my brother. What can I do? <laughs> oh, man. That's, this is you know what? So tough. Talk about a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Not necessarily. This this other Honestly. woman could be terrible. Yeah. yeah, but still. And she's had it. You got to bite your it. tongue. You do, don't you? Yeah, because you, yes. you don't want to ruin the guy's relationship with his brother. Exactly. No. Maybe, yeah. just, maybe not take her to any family functions. Yeah, why does she just, just stay say home? she's sick constantly? Yeah, <laughs> I, you know that's not a bad. That's actually not a bad. Hey, babe, you've proven that you cannot be around these people. Right, yeah. just stay home. <laughs> so you're not book. you're not allowed. You know what though? I'd be ticked. I'm like, what do you mean? I have to stay home because I can't handle myself when she sucks so hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Tell her to stay home. And by the way, if you do come, you can't have dessert, Porky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the previous letter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, you know, we don't know what this new one weighs. So yeah, hang we on. Yeah, we. It could be. All right, let's all agree the fattest one stays home. Oh. <laughs> I, I second that. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, uh, Allie, you working this weekend in the city? Yeah, I'm down in the West Village. I'll be at the Greenwich Comedy Club. All right, all right. Once Greenwich again, Village Comedy Once again, you can reach Allie. Uh, only fans at A-L-L-I-B and uh, social media, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N. Uh, send us your love troubles for the Sexy Time Show. Thanks, Allie. Bye, Allie. Thanks, guys. Oh, Bye, Allie. a pleasure. Yeah.